So the newest version of StreamerBot released what I think is the biggest feature for StreamerBot so far. So what you see behind me is uh, essentially is just another computer. It just looks all fancy, but it's another computer. Uh, it's a touchscreen monitor. The point is it's another computer. So I've opened up Chrome and I've just opened up this web page here that has all these buttons that look like a stream deck and I can control my stream just by touching these buttons like this. Um, and this is just a normal web browser and I can open that up on my phone as well. So if I go to my phone here, I've got like the same page here. It's just a link that I've opened up on my phone. I can again, control my stream here, kind of like a stream deck. Man, I really, wait, why am my voice just then? I need to drink some water. So yeah, web-based stream decks are now available on streamer bots. I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up and it's really, really cool because not only can you create like a stream deck like page, but the stream deck pages are remote. Meaning if I give this URL of my stream deck page to say one of my moderators, they can control my stream on like the other side of the planet and you can set up privacy settings so that only verified members can use your URL. So like if you accidentally leak your URL, like not everybody can use it. So I'll show you how to set up all the privacy settings and stuff, but like this is like super, super cool and amazing feature in the newest version of StreamerBot. Um, so I'm gonna start show you what you need to do to set that up. So first, here's what you do. Go to your StreamerBot website. So type in streamer.bot, go to the website and in the top right corner, it'll say sign in. So you can actually sign into StreamerBot using your Discord account. I've already done that. So you can connect your Discord account into StreamerBot and then you just click on this and click Dex. And over here is where you can create all of your Stream Deck pages. So if I go into this one, my Deck 1, this is what it looks like. I've got all my different buttons here for all my different uh, channel point redemptions. So for example, if I click in this plus button here, I can go into actions and this will list all of my different channel point rewards and all my different actions that I have in streamer bot. So if I open up streamer bot here, all the actions you see in this dropdown are just the actions that you see in this list here. So it's really cool is, um, well, first of all, I'll show you how to even set this up to begin with. So, uh, first you need to, of course, log into StreamerBot, but you also need to go into StreamerBot here, go into integrations, go to website, and make sure you go into the settings tab and connect to the StreamerBot website. So this is actually going to connect your program to like the website where all the Stream Deck pages are made. Uh, and once you connect it, you should have like this green thing that says connected here. That means that it is connected to StreamerBot and you can start adding your different rewards. And once you've made all of your pages and all your buttons here, you can then go and click launch deck and you'll have this URL up here, which is your unique URL for your stream deck page. And you can just open up this link on another computer. You can open it up on a, um, on like a, big ass touch screen like the one I have back here. You can open up your phone and you can control your stream uh, just by clicking on each of the buttons. We're gonna do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Um, And the page will look the same no matter where I open it up. So if I go on my phone here, um, I'll just refresh the page. I can just press the barrel roll button. Do a barrel roll. And it'll do the barrel roll. Uh, the other thing that I was talking about before, the permissions, um, let's just say like, I just showed you guys this URL. If you guys type in this URL, you actually, it won't work for you. You'll get an authentication error. I, I encourage you guys to try type it out. I promise it won't work for you. So to get that working, two things you have to do. Um, number one, I forgot to mention this. Uh, make sure to click on this thing that says toggle remote connection. Uh, Cause if you turn this off, then uh, the links will stop working like on your phone and stuff. So make sure you have this blue thing turned on. This was something that I was missing before. Um, also, if you go into your settings and security, this is where you set up all of your permissions, right? So I've set up my deck as a private deck, 
meaning that only I can control it. But if I want to give this deck to one of my mods, then all I have to do is search for their Discord account inside of this box that says user access. So you're going to need to get your mods to log into StreamerBot using their Discord account for their name to pop up here. So um, we've done this for Belle. Her account is here, so she has access to this page. Um, so you just have to type in their Discord ID here. If you type it in and their name doesn't appear here, just get them to go to the streamer bot page, do the sign in process like you just did. Um, and then you can start searching for their name here and just add in um, all the users that you want to have access to your stream deck page. So um, once you do that, you can give them the link to uh, click launch dank. Dank? Lock, lock, oh, I'm drowning. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, click launch deck and copy this URL and give it to your mods. They can click in that. They'll have to sign into their Discord accounts to use the deck, but after that, they can control your stream remotely. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you have, uh, there's, there's your stream deck pages for streamer, but uh, of course you can control the appearance for everything. So you can change the colors of the buttons. You can upload an icon for it. So if I want to make this uh, box like a red box, just can change it there, uh, save it. And I'll appear red. And then now if I go to my phone, go to my phone, just have to pull down to refresh it. The button should appear red. And then I could do a barrel roll. click it to control the stream. Again, you don't have to do like uh, all these crazy different effects. Like you don't, you don't have to do stuff like this. Okay. Um, you can have like simple scene changes for buttons, so you can treat it as like in like a normal stream deck for changing scenes or turning sources on and off. You can do whatever you want, but um, but yeah, that's that's the uh, web-based stream decks for StreamerBot. Um, if you guys like this video, great, it's good for you. Yeah. Um, I I don't really know how to end it. How do how do I end videos? I have Patreon. You can give me money there if you like this, I guess. Other than that, see you later.